and in today's video I'm going to talk about ways in which you can lower your carbon footprint. This video is based off of an article written by one of our team members, Chess, and it can be found on our website or by using the link in the district description box below. So, what is a carbon footprint? A carbon footprint is the amount of carbon created um, during your day-to-day -day life, so by using the kettle or just turning on lights, that uses electricity, which creates carbon. So I'm going to talk about five ways in which you can lower your footprint. Starting with step one, buy reusable coffee cups and water bottles. They generally cost between three and five pounds and come in lots of different sizes and have lots of different patterns on so you can make it personal to you. I've got this one here um, which is really good because it keeps hot drinks hot and cold drinks cold and it kind of looks like Hydro Flask but it was cheaper and I use if you have a reusable coffee cup, you could take it to coffee shops and most will give you a discount for it. So Costa and Starbucks give you a 25p discount for bringing your own cup, which means it would take you a total of 12 cups of coffee to um, earn the money back. And there's something just really satisfying about bringing your own cup. However, if you're staying in the coffee shop, opt to use the in-store cups and glasses um, as the plastic cups you use for iced coffees often aren't recyclable. So go for eco-friendly option. Step 2. Buy a reusable shopping bag. This one's quite self-explanatory. Um, as most shops sell bags for life or two bags which you can then bring back to the shop and reuse rather than the plastic bags which you can normally only use once or twice before they rip. However a good use of the plastic bags after you've finished using them for your shopping is as bin liners or you can even take them on dog walks with you if you've run out of poo bags. Um, so you can get fun designs on tote bags like I've got this kind of cow print one from H&M. Um, so again you can make it customizable to your personality and it's eco-friendly, just as long as you remember them. Step 3. Shop sustainably. If you can, buy loose fruit and veg and put it in the paper bags rather than pre-packaged fruit and veg as it comes in plastic, which isn't widely recyclable. Um, and if you're getting fruit, like those boxes where it's got grapes, and apples in. It's cheaper and more eco-friendly to just buy the grapes and apples and then cut them yourself. A good example of a store using no packaging or recyclable packaging is Lush. They've got bars of soap which they call naked bars and it's just like normal soap but um a bar form, so it's not got the plastic on, and they have recyclable paper bags, um, and or you can give you the option to buy scarves to use as a bag, so you can carry it home in a nice scarf bag, and then if you're giving it as a gift, they've got it's two gifts in one. Um, or you can treat yourself to a scarf and other um, supply. 
the Lush also, if you take back to them five of the bottles or tubs, they'll give you a free product. So look for options without packaging or with very minimal minimal recyclable packaging. Step four. This one is slightly less simple simple. But if you have the option to go in vegan or even just meat free sometimes can have a huge difference. Some many people have already done this to help combat global warming. As cows produce a lot quite a lot of carbon. So by Cutting out meat, it certainly helps the environment. Um, however, I'm not vegan myself, and that's okay, you don't have to be. Every little helps. So simple things like putting milk, soy milk in your coffee rather than cow milk is healthier for you and healthier for the environment, and it won't cost you any extra. And Meatless Monday, just one day a week you give up meat is a small step towards a better world. However, you may not be able to go vegan or vegetarian and that's okay. Um, like me, I live with my gran so it's rarely up to her what we eat. But um, if and when you can though, try to opt for vegan or vegetarian options as every little helps. Step 5 final one is cycle or walk. Not only does it help the environment but it also helps you. So by not taking the bus, car or train you're creating less carbon which is better for the environment as I mean it's cleaner air but also better for you as you're not breathing in polluted carbon filled air so that means you've got healthier lungs. Also, the exercise you get from walking or cycling to work or school is great. It releases do the brain chemical dopamine, which makes you motivated, which is just what you want going into the office or into your school, as then you'll be ready to start the day productively. It also releases serotonin and endorphins, both of which work to increase your mood so you can start the day off happy and productive. And even the tiniest changes can help. Everyone has to start somewhere and if we all make those tiny changes we can make the world a better place and benefit our planet. We're not past the point of no return yet and doing simple things and making a collective effort can make the world of difference. No pun intended. I hope you implement these five tips into your daily life for a better future for all of us. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to the TWE YouTube channel as we have a new video up every Wednesday. Thank you. Bye.